Good morning, everybody. My name is Andre Junko. I'm a member of the German Parliament and of the Parliamentary Assembly of Council of Europe. And that assembly is the assembly who elects the judges in the Court of the Human Rights in Strasbourg. And I have to say that three times in 2020, in 21, and some weeks ago, the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe called with huge majority for the immediate release of Julian Assange because of what it means for press freedom, uh, and that is, I think, a very good sign. We, uh, you know that uh, this could be the last hearing today, and um, if the extradition will be given free, then there could be an intervention by the court, by the European Court for Human Rights in Strasbourg. It's the so-called Rule 39, it's an interim measure, and I really expect, if this is the case, I really expect the British authorities to respect the Strasbourg Court because this is binding, this is international law, and I don't want to Britain to breach international law. So, <clears throat> you know the Rwanda case here, it was a big issue in Britain, uh, and the court did an interim measure, and the British authorities, the British government, in the end respected, but made a lot of uh, noise about uh, Strasbourg, I, but I think it's important to have this. And I'm quite sure if the case of Julian Assange um, will be given to uh, Strasbourg, to the European Court on Human Rights, then I think the chances are very, very good for Julian to be released. But we don't want to have punishment through process. Julian has to release immediately and uh, tomorrow. And that is why I'm here. That is why I'm supporting uh, all your struggle and that I, why I will observe the trial. Thank you very much.